What we're gonna do with this compound, we're gonna do the seams and inside corners using automatic tools. I'm going to use boxes for my seams and a corner finishers for the inside corners. Instead of my trowel that I use to feather out and, and uh, coat seams, I use a taping box. And actually, this blade here is actually your trowel. It actually is slightly concave and I'm able to adjust it by turning this little lever here. So I'm gonna start out by doing that inside corner along the top. Then I'm also gonna hit this seam. Go right down this inside corner. This is the box filler hooked to my mud pump. So this is kind of compressed, right? So that'll slide into the mouth of the box. So I simply, I've got the handle pulled all the way back so that the whole box can be filled. There, now I've got that pretty filled with compound. That's quite thin. So I don't really want to tip this box upside down or it's going to start. So I'm quickly put it that way and then I flip it. But I, as I flip it, I also put my hand on the brake. So I've got the box rigid because my hand is on the brake. Press it into the corner. And now as I push on this handle, it pushes the mouth of the box in and forces the compound out through the head of the, the box, the finishing edge of the box. And that's all I'm going to do. That looks kind of ragged, but I'm going to go over that again with a taping knife to get it really smooth because it, this is an efficient way to actually tape these seams on the uh, wall. So that's one box full. And I've run that through and I've got it set on like zero. So I'm putting on a little heavier than I want. So I'm going to turn this to one. So now that's going to be right where I want it. All my butted seams are back blocks, so they are a slight recess. So because it's concave, I'm going to use this 10 inch box to put a coat over this seam as well. So I just start right up against the ceiling, putting a lot of pressure on it, pulling it right down. Now right away I can see that I'm not leaving enough compound, so I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to turn it to zero again. After I turn to zero, I pull back slightly on that edge, and we'll see what that does. You can see what happened. Now I'm coating the, uh, hiding the tape much better. So that little adjustment ended up being necessary. So same thing here. I started running along the bottom, pulling up. Now because the intersects, I'm gonna have to do a little bit by hand. So I, I take a, my, bevel trowel and I've got it nice and clean. Now I'm just going to pull that right over that seam. See what that does? It makes it look a lot better. I get rid of, I remove some of the compound and I've got it nice and tight. Remove most of the air bubbles. So I'm going to do that on all these seams uh, that I do on the walls. Just going to pull the trowel along the seam. And because I had a little too much compound to start with, I'm just going to do it again, go right back over it. There, that looks really good. Same with this. Start right at the top, pull my trowel down. Going to grab a little bit of compound and blend that all in. Now what you can do when the butted seams intersect, I could, go, I could have done this as soon as I got here this morning, hit all my butted seams. And then by the afternoon, I could run the other seams through and it'd be a little easier. But this is, this is how we're gonna do it today. All I'm trying to do is blend that in, have it come out pretty good. Because this is the fill coat. 
and I'm happy with that. So what I've done, I've, I've, I'm taping the seams before I do the inside corners. So I've got the seams done in this wall, now I'm gonna move to the ceiling. I'm gonna start boxing the seams on the ceiling. Now I'm just gonna walk right underneath this, keeping it square, centered on that seam. Applying quite a bit of pressure to force that compound out of the box. And that's, that's all I'm gonna get out of one fill. I got about 20 feet. I'm gonna fill it up again, and then I'm gonna finish that seam. Now, when I, the only thing different on the ceiling is I'm not gonna trowel it. I'm gonna just go over it twice with this. So instead of getting my trowel out and smoothing it out, I'm just gonna do it twice. Now I've done this, in, I've done all the seams, now I'm gonna do the inside corners next. And once I do the inside corners, I'm gonna get back on my stilts to point it all up. And when I'm on my stilts is when I'm gonna to touch up all these butted seam intersections. I just gotta thin it down a little bit more because I'm gonna do the inside corners and I want it just a little bit thinner for these inside corners. I think that's gonna be good. So this is the uh, compound tube. I'm gonna fill it with the uh, compound. As I'm applying this, if I find that I'm putting, using a lot of physical exertion to get the mud out, the mud is too thick. So, and I think that's pretty good. I'm not working that hard. It's coming out nice. I'm gonna put some compound on this corner. Now I'm gonna attach a corner flusher that's a little bit wider than the one I used yesterday. It's probably like three quarters of an inch wider. Put it on, acclimate it by getting a little compound on it. Now once again, I usually go over every one of them twice. So I'll, I'll pull it all the way to that edge and then I'm gonna go back and do it again. I like to start on the bottom and push up. It's just nice and clean. Okay, so I've um, coated all the seams basically in this room and all the inside corners using the automatic tools, the box and the corner finishing tools. It was easy and I got really excellent results. These tools are not complicated to learn. I think the learning curve with, with the box and the corner finishing tools is a lot shorter than it would be with hand tools. And really, it's nice and consistent. That's exactly 10 inches wide, feathered out nicely on each edge, even my inside corners. Both edges are feathered in really nice. It's filled, all the tape is concealed. It's exactly what you're looking for. Really, and it only took minutes for me to do this whole room. But now I have a little bit of work to do. I've got to point up all the corners and I've got to blend in the butted seam. So there is always a little bit of touch up with, with the hand tools. Mm -hmm.